Are you looking at this guy and wondering to yourself, why is he so happy? And what is the secret to happiness? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's earning 12% interest daily. That's right, daily on your crypto. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up a Nexo account and how to transfer from an exchange like Gemini to Nexo to get you one step closer to happiness. Like our boy over here. So first, let's talk about realistic interest rates because you're not going to be getting 12% unless you're living outside of the US and you have to earn it in Nexo tokens. So Nexo does have its own cryptocurrency. And if you hold Nexo inside your savings account with your other crypto, you get better rates, better rates on interest and better rates on borrowing. So for example, in your entire portfolio, say you have $1,000 worth of crypto and you have no Nexo or you have up to 1% Nexo, this is the amount of interest you're going to get as well as your borrowing interest rate. And then as you can see, as you go to silver, gold, and platinum, it goes up and up. Platinum, you need at least 10% Nexo, so you'd need $100 out of your thousand. And you get a pretty awesome borrowing interest rate, 5.9%, and that's how you're able to get the 6% and 10% if you're living in the US, and the 8% and 12% if you're outside of the US and are able to receive it in Nexo tokens. So you'd be getting your interest back in Nexo rather than for example, if you put Bitcoin in there, you'd be getting it in Bitcoin. But this way to get the 2% extra interest, you'd be getting it in Nexo. All right, so let's get started. Just go to nexo.io, go to create account, enter in your information here and then click sign up right there. So during these parts of the video, you can just go ahead and click the pause button because I'll just be going through them to make the video a little bit quicker. Go ahead and do this little slidey thing. Go to your email and confirm it. Your email should look like this. I just took a picture of it. And then it should take you to the screen that says, congrats, your email has been verified. Then click continue to your Nexo account. And boom, it's really that easy to create one. So I'll just quickly go over the UI. This part right here tells you how to get crypto credit lines. Basically you put in crypto and then your credit line is available right away when the crypto gets there. Then you can spend it instantly. And for me, if you're doing just stable coins like USDC or USDT, you should get it within five to 10 minutes. And the cool thing about this is there is no minimum loan repayments and no hidden fees. Then down here, you have your portfolio balance, your credit line, the amount of interest you've earned so far, your loyalty level, and then down below here, you have your coins. So basically, top up means deposit and put coin in there, and withdraw means to take it out. And then if you go here and click manage wallets, you'll have to add two-factor authentication in security section to continue. So basically all you have to do is go over here, click security, and then you scroll down and then you see two factor authentication, go ahead and click enable. So this is a required process to deposit money into your Nexo account. So you have to do this. And what you want to do is go to your app store and download one of the authenticator apps. I use Authy, you can use Google Authenticator, you can use Microsoft Authenticator, and I'll put the photos right here. So download the app, it'll look like this, pause here, then open up the app and then click on add account and scan the QR code that shows up on your screen. And if you're doing this on your phone, you can just go ahead and click copy and enter key in manually. Then it'll show you this account nickname. You can change up the account name and edit the logo if you want and then click save. And then right there, it shows you the new account and you should see the numbers displayed on your screen. So go ahead and enter in the authentication code that shows up on your phone. Go ahead and click verify code. And then it should show you app authentication successfully enabled. Click OK. And there we go. It's right there. Um, don't disable it. And then we're just going to go back and click account. All right, now go ahead and sign into your Gemini or whatever exchange you're using, and then I'll show you how to transfer from Gemini to Nexo. 
So go ahead and pause until you're ready. All right, this part's really simple. Go to Gemini or whatever exchange you have. On Gemini, I have to go to withdraw from Gemini. So you can find that in the menu up here. Click on withdraw from Gemini under transfer. I have some Bitcoin in here that I want to throw into Nexo. So click on currency, click on Bitcoin. And now it's telling me that I have a hold because I just transferred money in here recently, but I can withdraw this much. So I'm just going to withdraw 0 0.02. And then right here, it says select a destination. What you're going to want to do is go to your Nexo account, click top up, and then copy this address and then copy it into here. Click continue and then enter in your amount. And then if you watch my transfer crypto video, it'll tell you to always double check. So always double check the deposit address and make sure that they are the same. Click continue. And then click request withdrawal. And then for me, I have two factor authentication set up. So I'll go ahead and enter in that code. And then Gemini has another layer of security for Authy. So you have to approve this request on the Authy app before you move forward. So go ahead and click approve. All right. And now it says you have requested a transfer of however much and pause it because <laughs> I wasn't able to read the whole thing. And if you wait some time, you can refresh the page and then the transfer should show up in the transfer history. This is just uh, down below on that same page on the withdraw page. And you can check this to from address and double check that that is correct. And you can go on the blockchain and see your transaction if you want. Refer to my video if I have made it. And if you go into Nexo and click on transactions, you'll see that right here the transaction went through. You can see that it says top up crypto right there and it shows BTC. So you should be able to see what kind of transaction it is and what crypto that you put in there. And if you're on the Nexo app, then you have to click on wallet and then click on the top right with those two arrows and that's how you find your transactions. And that's it. Comment down below if you wanna learn how to borrow and uh, loan crypto from Nexo. It's pretty simple, but I can do a video on that. And other than that, as you can see here, you do get interest every day. So this is all just from today and this is from yesterday. So you earn interest in the native crypto that you put in every day, which is really awesome because like a traditional bank, I don't even know when they give it to you. I feel like I get it every three months or something, but it's nice to be gaining interest every day that I have it in there and there is no lockup period. And one thing I should mention is that if you do get a loan, the crypto that is put up as collateral will not be earning interest. So that goes to the credit line rather than uh, your savings account. So please hit that like button if this was helpful in any way and subscribe and hit the bell notification if you're new to the channel to keep up with the hottest and latest news that's going on in crypto today. And also comment down below if there's anything else you want me to go over. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.